Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, so this week we got some new content to go along with our double money bonus event. We have some new Simeon contact missions, and they are touted as the new Simeon repo missions, and they're really fun. They're very good. They're double money right now. Some decent cash to make with these. They're really, really cool. I definitely recommend you do these. They're really fun. And you can, you know, do these a whole bunch of different types of ways. Use your own vehicles, whatever. The first mission is called Repo Blow Up 4. So it's kind of like a play or a continuation of the other blow up missions, which is pretty cool. The second one is Repo Sasquatched. And the name hints that you get to use a Sasquatch uh, truck, monster truck in this. So that's pretty cool. And then the third one is Repo Under the Hammer. And you can do these in any order. There's no real difference in that. Uh, but like I said, you can kind of uh, play along and go along exactly with how they want you to play these. Or you can kind of mix it up a little bit, which is really cool. Uh, the first one that we're doing is Repo Blow Up 4. All right, and uh, Simeon just wants to go to this warehouse over here, the big house, right? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Get to check out some different, uh, you know, interiors or whatever. Uh, so, well, not really different, but you know what I mean. It's just a regular import-export garage. Uh, you go inside here, though, there's a bunch of cars that you have to blow up. You can, you know, use explosives. You can use sticky bombs. Uh, minigun makes quick work of these cars. Uh, that definitely helps out. You can just throw a couple thousand rounds at some cars and destroy them. The alarm is going off, but you shouldn't get any bad guys inside the actual warehouse. That comes later. There is a car kind of behind this wall over here. You can kind of chunk a grenade back there, and you'll be able to get that guy. Uh, sorry if I sound congested. My allergies are killing me right now. After you blow that car up, uh, Simeon says, have you checked out the basement yet? So go down to the basement, and you have some of these cool basement, um, you know, special vehicles just like you would in your normal import export warehouse uh, i opted to kind of go a little theatric with this one i used the jerry can and uh <laughs> i'm so <laughs> so dramatic i swear i ended up just basically stringing along a giant gasoline trail from vehicle to vehicle and oh my god i was hoping it would work out and it did not let me down i made just pretty much a big half circle all the way around, I shot the gas trail to set it on fire. And uh, I'm just going to play this out a little bit. Just let you watch it. I mean, it's just so nice. So, I mean, it's just a little... Damn it. Phone going off. It's just the little things like this that are so... Uh, I just appreciate that. I mean, look at that. That's sick. That's so cool. I highly recommend, even if it takes a little extra time, do this. Just do it. Do it for the, for the whatever. You know what I mean? Just get a video, a picture. It's just so cool. The trail went all the way through the vehicles, um, took out the Wastelander back there. <laughs> I mean, oh, God. I love it. Such a nice, subtle touch. You know, I had some music in the background. It was all dark. I had candles lit. There was like some, you know, that, that evil theme music in the background going. I had a, a huge glass of some 26-year-old uh, scotch just sipping away. It was just, oh, my God. My socks were off. It was wonderful. It was just so so cool. So much fun, right? So you blow those cars up, and then you come outside. This is where you have a lot of bad guys out here. Strongly recommend you use an armored vehicle, guys. I mean, look at this. There's tons of them. An armored Karuma um, something, man. I, I highly recommend an armored Karuma. That's really probably going to be the best vehicle to use overall. Uh, you just, you know, kill these guys, murk them out. I did fail the first time because you can go out of area. And I stayed out of area. I got stuck out there. The cars were attacking me. I couldn't get back into the zone. But no big deal. Kill the guys. Uh, I failed the first one, so that was... Uh, I only got like seven grand for it. I got 17 for the second attempt. I would have made about 30,000. This mission only takes about, I'd say, eight minutes to complete. Not even that, really. So uh, that was easy. Second one I did was the <laughs> Sasquatched, right? Uh, you just drive over to the Maze Bank Arena and steal a Sasquatch. Now, this is one of those missions you can do a little bit different. You don't have to use the Sasquatch. You can use other vehicles to blow up the cars. Uh, you can use RPGs, sticky bombs, you know, stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of, you know, play along with the mission and kind of do this the way they wanted me to play it. Plus, I just wanted to run some cars over monster truck style and blow them up. That's all you do. You just uh, go to the, uh, the target vehicles on the map. Uh, and you just crush them like tin cans, monster truck style. I mean, it's sick. You just kind of sit on them for a little bit, and uh, the Sasquatch does the rest. 
there's several different groups of vehicles just parked waiting for you to you know run them over and blow them up and there's a couple of loners driving around as well you know and again you can you know use your rockets whatever you will have bad guys and cops you have to deal with there is a car inside benny's garage pretty cool nice touch right just blew that one up and got out of there. Uh, you can call Lester to get the cops off you as well. But the cops also jump back on you pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, on this one, we <laughs> destroy some uh, <laughs> some Priuses, right? You know, a little anti-eco uh, anti right there. So you just run those guys over. Um, it takes a few seconds of just kind of like sitting on the cars. And it blows it up. No big deal. I mean, it's really cool. It's fun. I mean, these missions are great. The Sasquatch one solo does take some time, though. It will take a little bit of extra time unless you're using a different type of vehicle to drive around or fly around or whatever to blow up the other vehicles. But you will have to go pick this guy up and deliver it back to the location. Uh, as you see right there, I can use Lester, call the cops off me. And right here, I'm showing you, you can use an RPG. There's a, a solo car just chilling down there. So I scoped in him and then took him out with the RPG. Then we pull up on another group of vehicles just parked, ready to get blown up. Again, you can use jerry cans. As you see on the map, there's actually a jerry can already positioned there for you to use. So uh, you can use that, RPGs, stickies, grenades, shoot them up with the miniguns again, whatever you want to do. There's another car back over here. Uh, you can just toss some grenades or stickies on the fence close to the vehicle and it will blow it up. Uh, as you see right here, that's just a terrible throw. But it still worked, got the car, blew it up. And then I had uh, one solo left. Merc out these cops real quick. Take care of them. And again, you will have some police on you. Uh, no big deal, though. Come on down here to the docks. Take out the last solo straggler. Uh, and then you have to deliver it to the docks down here as well. But you have to lose the cops, of course, right? So just drive around a little bit. You know, get away from the cops. You guys know how to do that. You should know how to do that. Just stay away from the little uh, cone of vision that they have, the little radar vision that the cop cars have, and you'll be fine. Uh, deliver it to Bay 3 at the warehouse and bam. But like I said, this one does take some extra time, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes in that range. $46,200. Not bad. Over 8,000 RP. Some good RP off of these missions as well. Um, the last one is Under the Hammer. This is really easy actually. You can, I believe you can use a cargo bob. I'm pretty sure you can. I didn't do that. Uh, once again, I have an armored vehicle so I can just drive up there. I killed a couple of the cops that were close to me from inside the vehicle uh, jumped out and got into the target vehicle all you do is just jump into there's two different target vehicles go to the police station uh, drive them out down to the dock and that's it you have to evade lose the cops no problem right it's pretty easy just duck down don't worry about the damage on the cars I mean you know it's whatever um, you let me know I, I didn't try it with the cargo bob but in the screenshots of the missions it shows you using the cargo bob as on the thumbnail with the bonus event week. So I'm sure you can. Uh, I just didn't take the time to go look for one. I didn't feel like I needed to. I don't think it was that big of a deal. Right? So I just drove out there, delivered it. This took really no time at all. Drove back over there. Uh, already had the cops on me as I was approaching. The second car is in that bay door. I drove by it the first time. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Hold up. Reverse. Uh, it's right here. It's another just you know, target vehicle. Jump out. Don't worry about the cops. Again, not that not that big of a deal. Jumped in there. The Infernus Classic, right? Just hold X. Got shot up a little bit more with that one. But again, no purpose. You know, make sure you got snacks and armor with you and stuff like that. Hold X to duck down. Or I believe it's A on the Xbox controller to uh, duck down. Or whatever button it is for PC. I'm not sure. I apologize. And just, you know, evade the police. When evading the police, uh, just kind of, you know, just pay attention to the radar. Watch the map. Uh, the game will give you little cracks and crevices that you can drive into to kind of avoid them. Because uh, on this on this one, I couldn't call Lester. I'm not sure if it was just me or if it was designed that way. But I, I had to actually lose the cops with this one right here. So just hanging out. Lose the cops real quick just like that. Go ahead and uh, drive on down to the dock, and then you collect your money. But yeah, I mean, these missions are really fun. Uh, there are uh, five more missions to come out. There's a total of eight of these missions. Tez tweeted that out earlier today. There's a total of eight new Simeon missions, repo missions. So we should be getting some more in the next couple of weeks. So I can't wait for that. Uh, that'll be so much fun. These are a blast. 
So cool. I love missions in the game. The missions missions are the original grind, right? 32,000 for that. You know, really didn't take that much time. About 10, 12 minutes. It was nothing. Got the money, and there we go, man. So I hope this helped out. Thank you so much for coming out and spending a few minutes with me to watch the video. Let me know if you guys got any questions in the comments down below. I'll definitely try and get to them as best I can. All right, check out my Twitter and Instagram, my merch at Redbubble and Spreadshirt.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illust and Reels content and game. Make sure you guys smash. I mean, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. See you in the next one. Peace.